My name is Scott Ball, and I'm the Esri Product Manager for ArcGIS Maps for Power BI. Today, I'd like to show you how you can use Maps for Power BI. And so for scenario one, we're going to be looking at a transportation planning agency. Uh, one of the things that's really important to transportation planning agencies and people in that space uh, is that they need to better understand public risk of aging infrastructure. So that has two main components, public risk and aging infrastructure. And so uh, the solution that we're going to use to kind of address this problem in this little quick scenario are the included free capabilities of ArcGIS Maps for Power BI. So uh, if I switch over to my uh, report that has my data in it, I've already added a map and I've added uh, points to this map which represent bridges. We're looking at the National Bridge Inventory. And so the National Bridge Inventory is something that happens uh, every few years. Bridges are inspected by bridge inspectors and they're essentially given a grade. And so that's either a passing grade, a might need work grade or a failing grade. And so we've, uh, I've visualized that on this map uh, by uh, green points, meaning these are good, uh, okay bridges. Blue points mean that they're okay bridges, might need some work soon. And uh, the red points mean that they are not passing grade bridges. These are ones that might need work soon. So uh, looking at this, uh, points on a map, um, you can get a lot of good information about it, but as mentioned before, um, you're kind of missing some things here. You're only seeing uh, those points on the map. You're not understanding anything about the communities around those bridges. You're not understanding. It's uh, kind of hard to understand risk to the population if you don't understand where that population is. Uh, I would assume that a lot of you probably understand that this is Seattle. Uh, there probably is a lot of population in the area, but where exactly are they? Uh, we can use our GS Maps for Power BI to help us out with that. So I'm going to go into edit mode uh, on this map visual that I've added to my report. Uh, it's in the top right hand corner and I can go down to edit. And when I do that, I'm going to be given a number of different more advanced options along the top of the map. And one of those options is the ability to add a reference layer. And so reference layers are those demographics that I was talking about earlier, those free things that we give for US based um, users of our GIS Maps for Power BI. Uh, we include things like average household income, household size, diversity index. Uh, but in this particular application where we're trying to understand public risk and where the public is compared to these uh, potentially failing bridges, uh, I might want to look at something like 2016 USA population density down here in the bottom. So I just click the add button. And when I click add, I get a new reference layer. And that reference layer is giving me more information about the world around these bridges. And so these dark red areas are showing me areas of very high population density. The areas of kind of light orange or medium orange are showing areas of lower population density. And so just by scanning across this map, I can see, let's say there are some red bridges out here that might not be in good shape, but we've got a pretty low population density area over here. Uh, we've got some red bridges here uh, in a heavily, uh, heavy population density area. If I have uh, a limited amount of resources, uh, I think this helps me make that decision a little bit better. It, it guides me down a path on where I might want to apply those resources. So that's scenario one, and that's some of our free options. Uh, so the value props of, of the free included version are that you can accurately locate data. Uh, we do beautiful visualizations and you can add US-based demographics to get more information about the world around you. Thanks for watching. Go to www.esri.com slash Power BI to learn more.